Hi friends, my name is Stephanie and I am excited you chose to join me today. This whole month we are going to be learning about kindness. Let's start by singing together a few new songs. Every time I'm feeling down, you pick me up. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. Oh, oh, oh. And even in the deepest, darkest night, you help me see. Sing it out now. Oh, 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 oh. I just want to say thank you for the way you love me. I want to say thank you. Great job singing! This month we're looking at some examples of kindness in the Bible. Remember, kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Can you guess who gave us the best example of kindness? That's right, Jesus! Jesus was sent to live here on earth because God loved us so much. In everything Jesus did, he showed us what it means to live with kindness by loving God and loving others. Jesus spent a lot of his time on earth teaching and talking with people. One day, he was teaching a crowd of people on a mountainside. When Jesus came down the mountain, the people still followed him. Suddenly, a man with a skin disease fell at Jesus' feet. We can read what happened here in the book of Matthew. A man who had a skin disease came and got down on his knees in front of Jesus. He said, Lord, if you are willing to make me clean, you can do it. This man was desperate to be healed. Back then, if a person was sick or had a disease like this, they were considered unclean and had to live outside the city away from everyone, even from their family and their friends. No one could even go near or touch the person because they might get sick too. So what did Jesus do when the man asked to be healed? Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing to do it, he said, be clean. Right away, the man was healed of his skin disease. Jesus could have just said the words, be clean, but notice that Jesus also reached out his hand and touched the man. 
The man probably hadn't been touched in a long, long time. Thanks to Jesus' kindness, this man could finally return to his family and his friends. Jesus was kind to everyone. He showed people they were valuable just by talking and listening to them. He was kind to people who were poor or sick or who weren't considered important in the culture at that time, like kids. At that time, people didn't really think of children as being as important as adults. But do you think Jesus saw kids differently? You bet. There was one time when some families were bringing their children to see Jesus. They hoped that Jesus might put his hands on them and pray for them. But Jesus' disciples tried to stop them. The disciples thought that Jesus was too important to spend time with kids. But that definitely wasn't the case. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. The kingdom of heaven belongs to people like them. No one expected Jesus to say that. He placed his hands on the children and blessed them. That day, Jesus showed amazing kindness. He welcomed the children, and he showed everyone that children are important and valuable just like adults. Jesus also showed kindness by being an amazing friend. Jesus' closest friends, the disciples, were 12 men who went everywhere with Jesus and learned a lot from him. One of Jesus' disciples was a man named Matthew. Before Matthew followed Jesus, he was a tax collector. Back then, tax collectors were hated because they worked for the enemy Romans. It was a tax collector's job to take money from the Jewish people and give it to the Romans. Not only did they give it to the Romans, but some tax collectors paid themselves by taking extra money from their own people. Not very nice, right? That's why tax collectors at the time were considered traitors by other Jewish people. No one really liked them or thought that they were good people. So you can understand why Matthew seemed like an unlikely person for Jesus to choose as one of his closest friends. One day, Jesus was walking by Matthew's tax collector booth. He stopped and said to Matthew, follow me. Matthew didn't even hesitate. He got up and followed Jesus. Jesus even went over to Matthew's house for dinner. There were lots of other tax collectors there and other people who had made some wrong decisions in their lives. These were the kinds of people who everybody else looked down on, but Jesus spent time with them. When the religious leaders heard that Jesus was hanging out with people like Matthew and his friends, how do you think they felt? They were shocked and angry. Listen to what happened. The Pharisees saw this, so they asked the disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this, so he said, those who are healthy don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to follow me. Wow, Jesus wanted the religious leaders to know that everyone needed his love and kindness. Jesus came to be a friend to all people, especially to those who were hurting, who had made bad choices, or had been left out by others. Jesus was only here on earth for a short time. He didn't spend that time becoming friends with kings or rulers or people who thought they were really important. Jesus showed us that the people who need the most kindness are the people who are outcast or overlooked by others. With his actions, Jesus showed others that he valued everyone, no matter what. We should all follow Jesus' example and show kindness to the people God has put in our lives. We can always look to Jesus and see how he treated people because that shows us how we should treat people too. Let's remember our bottom line today. Jesus showed us how to be kind. Let's pray and ask God to show how we can follow Jesus' example. Dear God, thank you for loving us and showing us kindness by sending Jesus. Help us to follow his example every day. Help us to see people who are overlooked and left out and give us the courage to treat them with love and kindness. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn more about how to show others they are valued by us and God through kindness. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.